acts of violence such as black on black crimes, police brutality, and trying to get hate crimes for Indiana. We, we do not have one. In 2013, the movement was just a coin movement made a hashtag on Facebook for the Twitter shooting death of an unarmed black teenager, as we all know as Trayvon Martin. 2014, there were three other violent incidences with the police, which followed Tamar Rice, who was 12 years old in Cleveland, Michael Brown of Ferguson, Missouri, and Eric Gardner of New York. My passion became bigger for this because of the incident that hit close to the home in New Haven, Indiana. Jason Gardner was 16 years old, who was beaten, flushed, choked out, and left by a creek. Left by a creek uh, because he had broken up with his girlfriend. And since then, the incident was brushed under the rug. Indiana, like I said, did not offer the hate crime. And his family has been attacked since the event by dead animals being thrown on their porch. Two white males pointing guns at Jason's siblings while they were outside playing. This is all caught on video surveillance and nothing was still done. It caused the family to move out of the state. So in closing, we can't fix everything in a couple of rallies, but we can come together and eventually make all lives better. As the great Colin Kaepernick said, believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. We'll have our first speaker come up. Her name is Miss Monica James of Indiana Green Party. She is the state chair.
population in prison is growing 35% more than men. In 35 states. The women prison population has grown 834% over 40 years. But some of you all, that's older than you. Most of you all weren't even born 40 years ago. That's more than double the growth of men. In eight states, women prison grew while men population declined. And Indiana happened to be on the list of the eight states. That's why it's important to know. Indiana is number one on the list of the eight states of women populations growing higher than men. Not by a little, but by a lot higher than men. Starting with Washington, Idaho, Texas, Alabama, Michigan, Iowa, and Wisconsin. In 19 other states, women prisons outpace men prison growth. Last but not least, in eight states, women prison decline proportionately less than only in eight of our states have women prisons declined proportionately, proportionately, not more, but proportionately to men. Only in 15 states, men did equally or worse than women. Equally or worse. That means that the three states that men did worse in, out of 15, 12 of them, they were equal to women equal to black women. Out of 13% of women population, black women are being murdered by police at an alarming 33%. 13% African Americans are dying at 33% by our law enforcement officers. That's something to ask yourself. Did I notice 